Male factor fertility issues. It is important to find out what is the cause for the your low count or zero count that you are experiencing. May, very often there is some reason for your uh, low counts and may, uh, a large percentage of patients they don't have any reason for low count and they suffer from this condition called oligozoospermia or low count. Uh, what are the causes, correctable causes that can co be contributing to your low count? If you have diabetes, if you have thyroid, if you have a uh, drinking habit or a smoking habit or your profession demands that you have to work in a very hot, humid environment. That is uh, those who work in professional cooks, those who stand in the sun for a long time, those who do jobs that li like welding. They are now all, the, all these jobs where they are always exposed to heavy hot environment the sperm manufacturing is reduced in the body and thereby they have low counts in their system. So it is important to ch make changes in this so that the count improves. Very often a lot of men have undetected diabetes mellitus. They may be very young like 28 or early 30s but still they wouldn't have realized that they have diabetes unless they have come for an evaluation. There is a lot of hope these days for men who are suffering from low count issues. Uh, it is uh, the treatments like IUI and IVF ICSI can be offered to them. And IUI is the first level treatment and it is the OP procedure by which uh, some kind of improvisation can be done. But not for, for, not for everybody does IUI work and all male factor problems are not solved with IUI. The degree of severity of the low count is very important determinant which will uh, determine whether IUI is going to give you a success rate or an ICSI or which is the intracytoplasmic sperm injection is needed for you. So if you have a very low count of say 1 million, 2 million with uh, the progressive motile ratio of that is the fast moving sperms are very less say 10% or 20% are only fast moving sperms. You may not be an ideal candidate for IUI. You will have to think of going towards the procedure called ICSI that is intracytoplasmic uh, sperm injection. This is the latest innovation of the last uh, decade and it has been giving very promising results with a very good success percentage. And uh, initially when ICSI came there was a lot of queries re uh, raised whether this is too much tampering of nature and things like that. But off late we have found out that many babies that were born through ICSI have grown up to be very healthy young babies uh, doing very well intellectually and physically. So there is nothing to fear about undergoing an ICSI process. In ICSI process even if you are able to give some 5 to 6 good sperms instead of the required millions of sperms it is enough to make a person pregnant. ICSI involves taking the egg from the female partner and the few sperms that are there are taken from the male partner and the male uh, and the sperm is directly injected into the egg and al is allowed to go grow in the laboratory. Thereby only if a patient who has only male factor problem and the female factor is perfectly fine then they have a very good success rate and ICSI has been a major breakthrough in fertility treatment.